Hey guys, welcome back and uh, welcome. Good to see you again. Nice to meet you. I'm Megs and today I want to do a little roundup of things that uh, have come my way. They have been definitely slow to get here, but tis the season and time of year. I know it's been absolutely crazy uh, for US Postal Service, FedEx, Canadian Postal Service. So the fact that I have these, fantastic. Some of them um, were from bef before Black Friday. Uh, some of them are from Black Friday. So I wanted to talk about some new things and um, I'm very excited to really get my hands on these and just play around. So one of the things that actually I have in my eye right now is this one. Now this is from ColourPop. I don't buy a lot from ColourPop. I'm just not, um, I almost want to go the other way with them because they launch so much stuff, especially like every week there can be two or three launches, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but you know, it is what it is. There's going to be sometimes a launch really catches my eye. This is from Dark. I don't know what I don't know what collection is from, but this is the Baroque palette. I love anything that is kind of dark, moody as fuck stuff, and this is definitely that. I love the right, from the packaging. Like, look at this packaging. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not a big flower person, so I'm so surprised that I just like there was just something about this. I love the lettering and that gold, almost like um. It's gold, but it almost has a little bit of like rose gold to it. And that, that dark, moody, pansy kind of um, packaging, which is continued into the actual palette itself. Um, this one I thought was a little bit more unique than the other two. I think Ornate and Grandeur were the other two. This palette is gorgeous. Um, it, it's weird because I'm not generally a gray person in terms of uh, what attracts me but there's just some shades here that I thought were super super unique I have it on my eye right now um, I have Ritzy which is kind of it's a duochrome it's got like a red terracotta base with a shift of looks like aqua yeah it's really really interesting I don't know if that's doing any kind of justice but you can see that shift in my sure, eyes. There's yeah. no, thank God, press glitters in these. Um, yeah, I just, I think, I don't know. I just, I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> um, I don't know how much. I do find though Ritzy is a little flaky. Um, at least it had the most kick up in the pan. Um, but I love just like the packaging alone. Like I think it's gorgeous. Give me that. It, it appeals to my little... Um, dark, broke kind of heart. At the same time, I purchased at Forest Sight. Um, it's the Raw Beauty Christie Club. I was hoping to get the liners as well, but they were all sold out by the time I purchased this. Again, this appeals to my little grungy heart. Um, I have uh, apparently multiple hearts, um, but moods perhaps, or you know, way of being. Um, this I love. I love like this kind of fiddlehead color. Uh, that kind of um, olivey gr army green um, PNW is that tealy um, almost like peacock blue Emerald City all those are really beautiful and then you have chanterelle um, and puffball which are kind of more mustardy and kind of um, type colors just this whole palette and then evergreen has a, a nice little shift to it so that's not you know it's not boring at all I think it's a beautiful, uh, again, color story, and um, you can see, it, it, yeah, you can, I, I can see her inspiration even from the artwork on the front is just beautiful. And I do keep my, I do keep my boxes, so I think sometimes the artwork is just as special as what's inside it. Um, so I really, 
you know, I don't want to get rid of it. Okay, so let's talk about some other things. So those were before Black Friday, as were these next couple of palettes. Um, Juvia's Place, I think we're having a sale prior to the Black Friday sale. So um, I hadn't purchased something from Juvia's Place in a while, but there were definitely things that caught my eye. The main, the catalyst to the purchase was the Wahala 2 palette. Um, and just, I thought this was like, I'm not generally a huge um, person, a person who likes to buy a huge palette. And this is, this is a lot for me. I like, I just, to me, there's so many colors. I think there's a lot of blues in this co this color story, which is okay. Um, I, and then this whole row here or column here is kind of like very similar to each other. I don't think they needed to have that many silvery white kind of coat tones. And then these two columns are very similar, kind of blurples with some other kind of uh, blue greens in there. But it is a beautiful palette. I enjoy Juvia's quality and formulation. And, I'm, you know, it's fun to see them um, evolve and expand. I do miss their, um, their round palettes. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. This is like their... This is an older palette. This is Warrior. It's new to me, but one of their first palettes. I wanted to get something that um, was reminiscent to Natasha Denona's bronze. And I'm like, okay, well, let me see if I can find something that's similar that's not as much money. Um, and I do love Juvia's quality. And I have, like, multiple palettes from them. This is, again, like I said, the Warrior palette. Very bronzy, goldy tones. And especially when I have a tan, I love wearing these types of tones with you know, if I want a simple look. Um, it's kind of being thrown off by, I think, the pan because it, the way it's reflecting. But there's lots of warmth to this palette. Now, it's a very basic kind of bronze, but that's what I was looking for. And that's, that's what I wanted. Speaking of basic, <laughs> this is the taupe six pan palette. It's pretty damn basic. Um, it's okay. Um, there's not a lot of variety in terms of how these look on the eye, but um, you know, again, if I want just a very subtle nudie type look, then those are beautiful. I also purchased the violets. Um, again, purple is very hard to formulate. You're going to hear that time and time again and hard to sometimes use. Um, beautiful. I love the tones in the pans. They don't always translate like that on the eye. Um, I find that this, um, in, in terms of the formulation, this is by far one of the harder formulations um, to use. And then when I have the chocolates, I like a dramatic, deep, dark, yummy deliciousness and uh, chocolates definitely don't disappoint. Um, these are very similar in terms of color. But then you have these two shimmers here that are gorgeous. Um, I haven't quite used it. I've just swatched it, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and those were all before Black Friday. I think I've already mentioned these ones from BH, but they're all in around the same time. And I just want to mention them again because they're absolutely gorgeous. This is a blueberry muffin palette. Um, a nice blue, sorry, the holographic is kind of woo, blinding y'all. Um, it's a blue based palette with a lots of neutral options so that you can kind of tone down and then I don't find those blues are very like in your face but they're you know they're blue enough to kind of get you get you there along with that order from BH was the sweet shop cherry on top <coughs> There's only a few left when I purchased them a while ago, but they have since restocked and I have since ordered. So I purchased bubblegum, pistachio, and the avocado toast. Um, and I've heard nothing again but good things for these guys. I'm just going to put these over here. And my to use palettes. Okay. Um, what else? So. Okay, now we're talking about the Black Friday stuff. Black Friday. So I still have um, uh, an order coming from Give Me Glow that is currently in Chicago, crossing the border. But I did purchase from <coughs> multiple places. Um, 
Lethal Cosmetics is probably one of my biggest orders. Um, Davina, which I have yet to swatch, so it's going to be like a first impressions. If you want me to do a more devoted um, video to any of these, please let me know in the comments, and I'm more than happy to. So this is the Velvet Dusk palette. Um, these are the shadows. So I've never tried Lethal before. It's my first time seeing with Davina. And I have to say I'm pretty impressed with uh, Lethal Cosmetics. Um, beautiful. Uh, I love the grunginess of this. I love like this swampy color, this mustardy color, this teal color, uh, this deep dark navy kind of purpley color. The shimmers are nice. Now apparently there are supposed to be multi-chromes in here and or what have you can't really see i s can't really say i see it because uh like wahala 2 had a multi-chrome or two multi-chromes in it and then in the vena has multi-chrome so these are very subtle um if they're there um i believe this one here is supposed to be multi-chrome and then this one here is supposed to be multi-chrome. Okay, so I have multiple shadows here from, um, I did a, 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 a huge. <laughs> um, so I bought Vertex, which is this green shade. Let me see, it's like an acid kind of neon green. Oh, it's so smooth and creamy. So there's a Vertex. Uh, I have Stargaze, which is like a purpley, blue kind of dark oh my god that's really pretty too oh, those are really nice together this is frantic it's like um a burgundy brown this next one is cascade it's more of a, a cherry burgundy kind of color this one is syncope It's like a swampy, green, olivey, khaki kind of color. Eden. It's an ivy kind of green, foresty. They're pretty much mattes that I got, I think. And this last one is Equilibrium. It's like a petrol kind of um, shimmery blue. So I purchased, I hadn't heard much about their liquid lipsticks, but I loved this color. Uh, this is Wasteland. It is an olive -y, um, gray kind of green color. Uh, this next one is the Analog Liquid Eyeliner. It's a beautiful sky blue kind of color. I don't have anything like that, even, even the slightest. And then as I've already mentioned in another video, I bought Q, which is a red. Uh, a black one because you always need a good black liquid liner and this is a redo redux redux sorry redux yeah which is kind of a which is black okay these are now the Davina I'm very excited for these okay okay so I bought star chaser collection so this is Vela 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 so I don't know if you can see. These are, have a lot of sparkle to them. And uh, this one has a peachy kind of golden. Ooh, very nice. Very creamy. That's Bella. Very sparkly, yeah, iridescent. This is Tucana. Oh, that's not part of the Star Chaser, so let me just do that afterward. I've got some of the multicrums as well, so we'll just do those in a minute. Uh, this is Lynx. That's what it looks like in the package. This one definitely has more gold blues peachy yeah oh. oh so pretty so so pretty yeah definitely more of a peachy there you go oh, 
really nice. I understand why people love these. Love these. I don't want to get ruined them. But I have to say everything came to like like very well packaged. Um yeah. So this is Orion. So this is definitely more of a blue kind of aqua to like a chartreuse. So you can see the green in it. Very like it kind of comes a little chunky when you first put it on. Hmm. Can't see the flip, but in person, these definitely have an air, like they're more iridescent. They're not incredibly pigmented. They're almost like toppers. So this one has um, green and aqua in it. Yeah, but you can definitely see the green more. It's just not showing up. One is again, Star Chaser Alt Altair. That's what it looks like in the pan. So from here, it's like an aqua with like pink and purple shimmers in it. Like an icy, and this is Draco. Draco has more of an aqua green, but very similar looking to that one. The other one has more purpley. Draco. Yeah, this is more aqua. That's Draco. Excellent, battery died. So this is Aquila. Uh, Aurora Flare. This one is Chromosphere. So this one has uh, kind of a green, blue, um, olive green, burgundy. Oh, you can see that burgundy. Oh, those are just like butter. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. <laughs> These are smooth. Let's just see. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 <laughs> wow, wow. On that, on the eye, holy smokes. I don't own like multi-chromes, so these are my first ones. I don't have the Kleona ones. I have duochromes from Kleona before the stained glass collection came out. So uh, this is Australis. Look at that, it looks burgundy. It changes from burgundy, I think, to um, some other shades. <laughs> okay, so there's the burgundy. Okay, and then green, gold. So you can see the burgundy. Okay, and in person it's less burgundy than it is. Okay, there's the... Wow. There's a burgundy shift to green to gold. Yeah. You can see them there. There you go. Oh, it's like beautiful oil slick. Woo! Woo! This is Polaris. Polaris. This is more of a blue-green shift and purple. Oh my God, this is a... Uh... Ho, 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 okay. This I love. So there's, oh, green. Wow, that's so funny because it's green and then it's burgundy here in person. Okay, you're not gonna see it there. Okay, so there's on the finger. So you can see the blue and the green there. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. You can see kind of the burgundy on the end here. Oh, so freaking pretty. Now I get it. I get it. I get it why multichromes are crazy and people just go ape shit over them. Uh, this next one is Tucana. I think this is um, just a, a regular duochrome. It's not part of the Aurora Flare uh, collection. Uh, so this is more of a, a corally pinky to gold peachy. That's it there. Mm -hmm. That's it in the pan there. Uh, you can definitely tell the difference. That is Chicana. See the pink, but in person it's definitely like a gold shift. You can see the gold there. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Like, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, yeah, these are beautiful and precious and I get it. <laughs> Stunning. Um, I'm delighted that I have these. I'm so impressed with those Davina. <laughs> so freaking impressed. If you want me to do, again, a, a dedicated video, I'm gonna probably use those relatively soon because they're just way too pretty just to be sitting down and sitting there doing nothing. Um, then I will definitely use them. Um, I know there's tons of videos out there on them. I just got mine in like literally, I think yesterday. So they're, I'm a little bit late to the party when it comes to Davina and the Star Chasers, but I'm more than happy to kind of show you how I use them. Um, so I forgot to talk about one brand that uh, is new to me that came and I ordered it before uh, Black Friday. And this is the brand JD Glow. Um, and I had heard so many good things about this particular brand that I was super excited to, to purchase these. I have already mentioned them in an earlier uh, video, which is why I probably forgot about mentioning them here about new palettes. But these are the little lovelies that I purchased. Um, some of them are galaxy shadows as well as some shimmer shadows or yeah. Um, beautiful absolutely stunning i have tried i haven't tried them on my eye yet because i've had so many palettes to kind of figure out and try but i wanted to just show you some here so this one is peacock so this has a purple blue kind of a shift to it um, i can see it in person but it's really hard to see it on here but in person it has this aqua color but then it goes to a purpley pink I don't know if that will. Uh, this next one I believe is uh, unexpected. I find this one quite flaky, so just a soft touch for that. And this one's also, sh these galaxy shadows are the ones that shift. So it's very iridescent with kind of a red base and an aqua color on, there we go. So it's coming up pretty much kind of a, a reddish brown base, but in real life, <laughs> it's the red base with the iridescent kind of aqua and green kind of shift. Uh, next to that is Fairy Acid, which is also a galaxy shadow. I didn't get all galaxy shadows. So that's this one here. 
This one has kind of like a blue gold silver kind of look to it. It's unique. There we go. Uh, next to that I believe is Molten. No, it's Henny. And that's a shimmer. Whoops, I'm just mixing. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, they're very creamy. That's Henny. Looks like a nice bronze. And then next to that is Gleam. I'm running out of. So that's Gleam. And then finally, let's see if I can, Molten. It's kind of, um, it's a gold. It's creamy, creamy, antique kind of gold. And that's Molten there. As I said, I think at the beginning, I do have some from Give Me Glow on the way. They're just kind of tied up at the border um, where I've purchased singles of the Vintage Rose and um, I bought, so I bought the palette, but the single format. And I also purchased Juicy Olive as well as uh, some other singles from uh, just from their collection. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, take care of yourselves and be safe and um, happy holidays, whatever holiday that you celebrate. Um, please do it wisely <laughs> and I will see you soon. Take care. <laughs>